It is Friday and what would one Friday be without a news episode over here on our channel if I have some new stuff to talk about but <laughs> today we have no problems about that. We have some juicy stuff ladies and gentlemen uh, covering Battle Pass Season 5. Many of you have been asking that. We have some leaks about that. We have some leaks about 113 a patch which is going to be quite a massive. I'm waiting for more information. Stay tuned ladies and gentlemen. Honestly smash the red subscribe button just set it on fire or ammo racket or do something with it rub it gently whatever it needs please click it you know because you do not want to miss any future news episodes about 113 it seems to be quite a massive batch i'm going to talk about rank battles and uh, the rank battles big changes for it also former changes also uh, the rank battle test um, and new equipment unit improved turbo ladies and gentlemen stay tuned for that also some other changes at the end or some other topics at the end of the video anyway let's jump right into the action huge shout out to to the dailybounce.net blog for providing all that information uh, to our beautiful community. So, Battle Pass Season 4 is only a month away from ending it after a short break of a couple of days. Season 5 will, come, will be coming up. The Season 5 will have the same format, uh, 3 chapters, 50 stages and uh, new core vehicles. AMX 50B, CS63, very surprising, uh, but uh, super happy about 50B and Patcher as well. Quite happy about Patcher as well, uh, because they all receive new progressive 3D styles. Uh, to see uh, CS, one of the newest vehicles, a 3D style, quite happy about that, right? And on the top of that, ladies and gentlemen, you will be able to get points in more game modes, frontline and recon missions. More about that maybe in one of my next videos where I cover 113, which seems to be very, very big patch. But uh, we get some hints about 113 uh, today as well. Uh, the new season will also bring a piece of brand new equipment, Bounty Low Noise Exhaust System. What you do not uh, uh, know, or if you do not know what this equipment unit is, it is basically the uh, extra camo equipment unit which gives you camo all the time. Not the camo net, uh, what you have to, uh, for what you have to stay still, stand still for, to kick in, you know, this one is always effective and uh, as always, Bounty equipment units are better than uh, the standard equipment units even if you use them in the correct slot so what that does it opens up some crazy builds for example if you use that on ELC you can easily slap the commander's vision system inside the scouting slot to get the maximum bonus and use ventilation and uh, uh, the uh, bounty low noise exhaust system on the top of that and oh boy you are going to be in vz bill ladies and gentlemen so battle pass season 5 core vehicles and um uh, some changes. Talking about ranked battles, big things coming as well. One of the biggest thing is a new equipment unit. Uh, so update 1.13 will bring a, a new ranked battle season, but this one is for testing. So ladies and gentlemen, before you get angry, you know, uh, too excited or angry with any changes, please remember the upcoming ranked battle season is a single test event. It is a single test season basically. They are testing um, if they want to go forward with this one or the old one, you know. Uh, former changes are actually quite a big one over here. The test ranked battle season will bring a big change in format where instead of 15 versus 15 there will be only 10 each side. 10 versus 10. Uh, the idea is to make uh, the format more competitive and in line with other events, <coughs> like Team Glass, for example. At the same time, it increases the importance of individual skill, giving you a bigger influence in the battle. Quite a big thing for many players, right? This will also, or this will also give more space for teams to move around the map. Yes, indeed, and use different tactics and regular random uh, than in regular random battle ones. At the same time, battle duration should uh, increase a bit, and the importance of teamwork will be greater. Also, another change introduced to the format is the number of SVGs and light tanks per team, so they know exactly the light tank problem, right? Uh, what I covered a couple of days ago. Uh, a maximum of one SBG and two light tanks per team to be introduced. These changes will affect the matchmaker but will uh, greatly increase the player experience balance in the battle. Let's hope so.
participating in this test season as well you will get some battle pass points as always uh, victory position one to two is plus two chevrons so <coughs> three to seven plus one chevron eight to ten uh, no chevrons and if you lose uh, top four uh, uh, or top one gets one chevron and uh, two to four gets no chevrons and five to uh, five to ten get minus one chevron so uh, six uh, players in the team 60 percent of the team if you lose is actually going to lose chevrons think about that ladies and gentlemen uh, so uh, changes to the progression uh, overall you have to get some less tokens uh, it was uh, made um, easier from 102 down to 94 so eight less tokens we have some divisions over here but now talking about the rewards because why should anyone play this if this is a test season right well wrong because you should play it for one very very big reason if you like slow tanks especially you should if you love slow tanks t95 mouse type 5 whatever is slow if you love them you should play the season because listen <clears throat> Because this is a test season, no new reward tanks will be available for obvious reasons, but you are able to buy all the previous reward tanks and uh, 3D styles uh, for the discounts you already had, but you are not able to get extra discounts from the test season, which is nice and understandable. You know, Skoda, Kampfpanzer, beautiful. But now, the most important thing, a piece of brand new equipment will be up for grabs too. Improved compressor. This is a better version of the turbocharger. So we get bounty, low noise exhaust, and we get improved turbocharger. Improved turbocharger, guys, is bond turbo. I'm so happy I have saved my uh, bonds. Because you may think it is not a big thing, but think about all the slow tanks, which are going to be made even better. Because right now, Turbo is the most useful in the mobility slot on medium tanks, who already have very, very nice mobility, right? But many uh, heavy tanks use Turbo. Many tank destroyers use Turbo as well, but they do not have the special slot. But now they do not care about that slot and they get even better mobility out of it than medium tanks currently get using turbo in the correct mobility slot you know this is this is what makes the this is what makes very extremely slow tanks a lot more enjoyable e3 t95 mouse type 5 the list goes on and on and on but at the same time we have to keep in mind there are two sides on the coin right uh, it makes already very mobile Heavy tanks even more mobile. Object 260, IS-7, Object 277, oof. Is it good, bad? We'll have to test it out. On the top of that, the mobility buff starts not or do not stop there. And with it, a new directive will also be available called fuel filter replacement. So does that mean you get crazy much more engine power top speed and extra using correct directive to get these players will have to get into the league bronze silver or gold so basically you have to complete the qualification you have to get into the league ladies and gentlemen they won't be available if you do not reach those leagues other rewards will also be available. Premium, account days, bonds, directives, credits and personal reserves. Ladies and gentlemen, many times you are asking uh, how to get bonds, uh, where to farm bonds. I am always going to say, take part of ranked battles. Even if you don't like it, try to enjoy it as much. Don't compare it to random battles because those are completely two different game modes. Uh, in ranked battles, uh, people are tryharding way, way more and I like that type of stuff actually and uh, just you know complete leaks uh, gather some bonds bonds are worth it actually bonds are worth the time you spend over there all the rewards premium time gold you this is the only place actually basically to get gold as a free to play player to get gold playing ranked battles right so let me know ladies and gentlemen what do you think about this uh, is it going to make it worse better of course we have to test it out but uh, it looks very interesting and oh boy this 
improved compressor. Oh, I can't wait. Moving on to the next topic. This is the third iteration of the GNH DWZ51 Tier 9 check heavy tank, which received some nerfs actually to the drum magazine. Seems like it was performing too good. Um, uh, the dispersion on turret traverse was uh, made worse up to 0 0.12. Uh, rate of fire was made down to 4.23, which means extra basically two seconds on the reload time. Aiming time was made worse. Accuracy was made worse and DPM was hit because of that. Not even 2000 DPM in tier 9, ladies and gentlemen. That's a bit worrisome, isn't it? But hey, let's see how it does how it uh, how it behaves because it should have the uh, single shot counterpart as well right guys <clears throat> if i remember correctly now finally let's uh, talk about a little hint about update 1.13 which seems to be quite a big patch large rebalancing of high explosive vehicles for the 1.13 world of tanks update on the super test uh, what express has some information about um, nine vehicles specially which received special treatment that have turp guns and are mainly played because of the turp gun and the list is kv2 kv2r xm551 sheridan d49 banar ebr 105 ebr 90 lynx 6x6 type 5 heavy and type 4 heavy ladies and gentlemen I'm going to cover that in one of my future videos. If I have some more information about this, I want to get some more information. I want to be sure. But um, let me just tell you, as far as I understand, KV2 is going to be buffed. Accuracy, mobility, stuff like that is going to be buffed. D49 and Sheridan's gun is going to be buffed. And DBR gun is going to be nerfed. Penetration and accuracies slightly let's talk about that when i have some more information ladies and gentlemen beautiful people this is it from me today i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below quite a big bombshells news bombs i thank you for tuning in much love stay awesome enjoy your weekend stay sexy take care and bye